Okay, welcome back again everyone. Um, I've got a little job to do. It's to uh, make up some little copper um, washers or seals. I should go on a, an injector. They fit on the bottom of the injector and the cylinder it slides into a cylinder head and seals all the gases from leaking um, in the, from the compression chamber. So I need to make up four of these and I have a piece of just a bit of uh, rectangle shaped copper and I should get a few of them out of that. I only need four. So we should get a you know, should get at least get four out of that piece. Alright, so I'll set this up in the lathe and we'll start turning them up. The size is not real critical. It's only gonna get squashed. It's only just the, the um the thickness is like the critical size. It should be two millimeters I think they are. Alright, I'll set it up in the in the jaws. I've actually center punched one end of it. That way I can use the centre, like the lathe centre, just to give me a guide where the centre of it is. I'll only grab it by just a bare minimum. Just enough to hold it, that way I can get as many out of it as I can. Copper's not a cheap thing, the more you can get out of it the better. As long as I get four. tool to center it up. Got myself enough room there. I'm just using the um lathe tool see how close I can get it to each of the four sides just gotta be careful using the carboy tool doing this because if you bump it you can break the carboy tip off
Okay, it looks like it's going to clean up all right. Let's see where we're at. We've got the AD. Is mm, 15 and a half, 15 and a half mil. Still got a bit to go. It's 21 mil. Should be one more cut. A little bit of the OD done. I'm going to take off half a millimetre. Oh, that's 15 and a half. Okay, that's the OD done. I've only been taking small cuts because um, I'm only just hanging on to it in the jaws. I don't want to spit the job out. Okay, next one, let's face him off a bit. the inside diameter. I'll just use a drill to drill that one. It's not a critical size either. So that's uh, eight millimeters. So I'll just drill an eight, eight millimeter hole. Send the drill at first, give the drill something to locate on.
anchor the um, OD and the inside diameters right now. So what I'll do now, I'll um, part it off. Now I'm going to use a high speed steel parting off tool. It's a bit thinner than the carbide one I got. So that's the carbide and that's the high speed steel. So I'm just a little bit thinner. That way I'll get an extra washer or two out of it. Won't waste so much material. Get this on the end of the, the job. Okay. Let's go over two millimeters and take a cut. It'll take me time since it's so far away from the arm. Um, so far away from the chuck. Two and a half millimeters. Shall double check that. What the size was. And it is no two and a half millimeters. Okay, to get exactly two and a half mil, um, I've been using the DRO, see here, just zero it and I'll move it over 2.5, and there's two, and four, uh, very touchy. There we go, two and a half mil. All right, now I'll do another cut. I uh, finished machining them up. They all come up good. I've got eight of them. All two and a half millimeters thick. I think it was 15 and a half millimeter um, OD. And the ID was eight millimeter, I think it was. So I'll be able to go and fit these now.
Oh, I'll see if they fit over the top of that, would be good, wouldn't it? There you go. Fit on that. Okay. This job's finished, and thanks for watching.